Hello, I'm Father Bob Fitzpatrick, Chair of the Diocese of New Jersey Stewardship Commission, also known as Project Resource. I have a summary of our ministry this year, and um, at the heart of our ministry this year was the same thing that was the heart at the heart of all of our experiences this year. This was a year of great difficulty and challenges and disruption, and Project Resource and the Stewardship Commission were part of that, and we did what we were able to do to adapt and respond and listen, working with a wide variety of ministries, dozens, probably 50 or more congregations, Hispanic congregations, historically black churches, campus ministries, all forms of ministry to help other people adapt in their ministry. The, um, I think that listening and adaptability really were the themes for a lot of things this year. And um, the first part of the year, we began with an effort to help congregations stabilize during a, a crisis. Uh, as the pandemic hit, as churches shut down, as people needed to stay home, our diocese community was able to come together and communicate about how to stabilize our finances and our operations in such an unusual time. Out of these weekly online workshops grew a conversation of what parishes and other ministries needed next that was help with PPP grants and the other loans and grants around that that became available. And many of the congregations in the diocese successfully applied for those PPP grants with help from these workshops. Going further on, still stewardship in its more conventional senses, uh, annual giving, major giving, and plan giving came back into focus as I can't say we corrected, but as we all began to level off after the initial shock of the crisis and the pandemic of 2020. And throughout the summer and the fall, our focus shifted again, this time to stewardship in its more conventional senses, um, even through unconventional means like weekly online workshops. Uh, these later became bi-weekly, but we saw that we were able to work with 50 or more congregations and ministries throughout the course of the year. The typical attendance at one of these weekly workshops was 35, sometimes 40 people representing say 20 to 25 congregations. It might be a stewardship chairperson or a finance chair or a treasurer from the congregation. It might be a rector and a warden. It might be a rector uh, or another member of the, a lay leader of the congregation. But whoever came was received. And one of the things that came out of this was Yes, practical advice on stewardship, it's, stu it's pr spiritual foundations, practical tips, sample timelines, checklists, letters, and how to adapt them to individual circumstances locally in the church. But the other thing that came out of this very clearly was a sense of community, that these congregations became a community and that the Stewardship Commission itself may be a hub or a resource project resource to the community as a whole in our diocese. But we now have a community of faith and a community of practice around stewardship that grew out of our time together. This has been a blessing. This has been a blessing from God that we've each found our own way to say yes to. We now have a community of practice of some 50 congregations and other ministries, campus ministries uh, and elsewhere, um, to support each other. Part of our bi-weekly work sessions online included presentations by individual parishes talking about their struggles, but also their experiences, their successes, so that they could share this with all of us. We're very grateful for all who participated, who either brought their questions or brought their solutions. It made success and, con and continuity around faith when so many other things were disrupted. This has been a real blessing. We focus on three areas of giving when we talk about stewardship. Annual giving, that is the typical, often in the fall, uh, stewardship pledge drive. Major giving, learning to ask for large gifts, capital campaigns, um, multi-year gifts, how to replace a roof or a furnish, uh, furnace, either expectedly or unexpectedly. And planned giving, that is, asking people to remember the church in their will. 
throughout much of the summer and the fall, we focused on annual giving because that's where the needs of the church were. That's where the, the mindset and the attention and the needs of the church were. More recently, we've been focused on planned giving with presentations on how to work with people to shape their imagination, stir their hearts to remember the church and their will and providing practical advice on how to do that in a way that's got the same strong spiritual foundations as everything else that we do around giving, that we give a portion of what God has given us back to him as praise, as tribute, as worship. We will also be taking a look at uh, major giving and plant and uh, capital campaigns as we go along. In addition to these weekly and bi-weekly workshops, we have worked closely with 22 individual parishes and are still receiving applications and invitations to work with others. If this sounds like you or your parish, we invite you to call us and ask for help as you understand it. We are beginning a listening tour. Uh, we're extending a listening tour in many ways for what are the needs of the church and how do those needs vary and how can they be met locally? And how, how can we as Project Resource and the Stewardship Commission support you in your ministry locally? It's all one church and finding out what local needs are is really at the heart of this. I should point to another source of partnership, CCS, the consultant that we've been working with throughout 2020 and now into 2021, has been a solid partner and an invaluable asset in doing this work. They have a long, solid reputation of their own and bring much to it. We're very grateful. And when you hear from us, you're also hearing from them and vice versa. Uh, CCS has been a great asset and we're also thankful for them. This idea of relationship really speaks again to the spiritual foundations of all we do related to stewardship and giving. One final thing that's come out of this, uh, these relationships around stewardship has been a renewed stewardship commission. While we're all the stewardship commission coming out of these workshops and out of these parish one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, working relationships, we have a renewed canon canonical structure, uh, 12 seats I think is the number, uh, six lay, six clergy, where we have new members of the stewardship commission who are going through the same, learning these same resources, talking about their own experiences, listening to parishes, and being trained to use the project resource curated library of materials. We've had a couple of orientation and training mini retreats for our uh, Stewardship Commission members, and we're preparing to extend our outreach further. Call us, email us, tell us what that would look like for you. It's all one church. How can we support one another's part in it? Thank you very much. <music>